say. Yes! Yeah, that's it. Ta da! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I promise to give a little bit of a diff of different content. I've got Claudia who did my makeup for my wedding. She's also my friend, so she's also one of my bridesmaids. So <laughs> let me let me introduce her properly. <laughs> Sorry, but um, I wanted to showcase sort of what I did on the what what she did on the day, um, and for my traditional, and then. What else? And then we're going to do a second look, which might be split into two videos for a spring look. So, being that she's the professional makeup artist, she's going to talk about skincare and all of that, Jimmy Jive. And I'm just going to be asking stupid questions, or not so stupid questions, you never know. And yeah, that's it. That's my intro. Let's get into it. Yay! You look pretty. I'm going to start with some skincare. So, I'm going to start by applying like a clarifying lotion. Okay. So what does this do? This basically just lifts off anything that might just be sitting on your skin. Okay. So if I put any skincare on top, it's yeah. gonna go straight to your skin and do its full purpose rather than just sitting on top of your skin or on top of whatever you would have put on. Okay. I've been really bad lately. Like I, I think I told you before. I was, um, <laughs> I've been kind of taking off my makeup. Mm -hmm. And then just going to sleep because I'm tired. But I need to wash my face. I've got Clarisonic. Um, yeah. The little brush thing, and I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say six days out of seven. I love. I use it because that there's just always one day when I'm just like, I'm just go to my bed. Bothered. I fall asleep on the couch and then I just drag myself upstairs. Do you, so, do you wipe it at least? Like. Yeah, I always wipe. And then just um, wipe. I wipe until I see no makeup. Mm -hmm. But then I don't take off my my uh, mascara. Oh. That's the bit that I don't do on that sixth on that seventh day. Don't do that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <guy. laughs> but it's what I do. It is. It's really bad. But listen, yeah, okay. you know it's bad. So yeah, I mean, I'm just tired. I'm sure you guys do it too. It's not just me. Do you know what? Mm, even when I've come home from work with full face. I still, I just might take me a bit longer, but I'll still do it. I, I would just think like, oh my god, the next morning, if I see a spot in the middle of my forehead, I'm gonna be pissed. Do you know what? That's how I feel about hair. I will never take those kind of chat. I would never sleep with my headscarf on. What me? Never. I would, but, yeah, yeah. But I know people that would do that, but I would never in a million years do that. But I just sometimes I'm just like, and then it's what be appears, up. and I'm like, wow. 20, the, the turnaround was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's to teach you a lesson, isn't it? Honestly, but anyway. Bless. That's what it is. So now we're going to do a bit of skincare. I'm going to use Fast Response just around your eyes. So it's got caffeine extract in there, so it helps okay. to deep puff and helps to brighten over time and immediately. Using my ring finger, just patting it on. I like to leave a little bit of excess product on there. So it just melts into the skin a little bit better. So what should I be using for my dark circles? Because that's that's my look. I've like I've had it panda eyes since I was little. I was looking at photos. I thought it was a thing that happened when <laughs> just I with, when I was like way. maybe twenty. But looking back at pictures, I can see that I've always had like always darker had circles. People I'm... ask me what um what did you use for your smoky eye, and I'm like. No. Honestly, I don't have a smoky eye. I get ox all the time. Well, what a smoky eye did you look really natural? I'm like, oh my God, it looks natural. <laughs> Damn right. It's because it is, love. I would say um, you need an eye cream that's providing as much like hydration under there mm -hmm. and like wrap around your eye area, but then also something that will help to brighten. So, I mean, for now, I'm using Vibrancy Eye from MAC, but I think, um, I think Estee Lauder have like an advanced. I use that. The, the night eye, cream. Yeah, the, the yeah. eye version. Yeah, I How use long have you been using that? Um, I had, I was using it re religiously before and then I stopped mm -hmm. and then I just started picking it back up the other yeah. day. Like this week, I'm really going to be honest, this week is the first week that I'm just like, as soon as I get I home from work, I 
I know I just take off all my makeup and actually wash my face off with the Clarisonic because that's the only way mm. I'm actually gonna not end up with makeup or be too tired so as soon yeah. as I get in from work you have to do it wig comes off makeup comes off headscarf comes on and then I'm, I'm basically away. like this less yeah I think that's the best thing otherwise sad, it's sad, sad state of affairs just to bang it out so what's this one a little control let's have a look my work to start with the best six plus close your eyes what would you say your skin type is do you know oily for real a lot of people say oily but they're not actually oily i've got dry bits but here nose and around your mouth mm, i think around your mouth is actually quite dry it's I might have combination skin with mm -hmm. more of oily than than dry. I think anyway. So because of that, we're going to use like an oil control lotion. Okay, cool. So this will give you. My hands are cold. I'm sorry, babe. No, it feels nice. Give you all the hydration and moisture that you need without leaving like some excessive film on top of your skin. Okay. I do spend quite a bit of time with skincare. I really like to massage it into the skin with my fingers. I just feel like it really helps with the look of the makeup. Okay. Even if I'm like short on time, I'll do that. Really? Well, I've got five minutes. I mean, do you know for everyone else, but for myself, it's really bad. I don't really do a lot of skincare on myself when I'm doing my own makeup. I just get the time. Just not. Especially around your eyes. And then we'll move on to your eyebrows. And how do you normally shape your eyebrows? I like the feathered look. That's what I'm trying to do. But then I still end up pulling out some concealer. <laughs> I don't know why. I like to fill it in with a powder. Okay. Because I feel like it mimics the idea of like real hair as opposed to going straight in with the pencil. Like it gives a fuller look, more voluminous. I think I'm going to try and keep your brows quite natural looking today. She says. But I don't really do dramatic brows anymore, like, not really. So yes, I start with powder and then I go in with a pencil. What made you start makeup? Um made me start I was at university and then I started working for Mac and then yeah I mean I always loved makeup like I remember I'd watch TV and then I'd be looking at people on TV like oh how have they got that blusher on or what they done with the eyes like mm. I'd always be looking at it like celebrities musicians like everyone and then I always used to shop in the, the Mac near my university and I think like the manager just saw me stalking the counter a lot. And then she just said, I was what position available. So I applied and then I went for it. I didn't actually have makeup experience, but it was very rare. Cause I, I mean, I don't know what it is now. I think now you can work for the brand without necessarily having, having any makeup background. But okay. back then, like you have to have it. So I didn't even think I'd get the job. Then I did. And then they train you a lot on the job. So I picked up a lot of that stuff then, and then I was there for about a year and a half, and then I, I left, tried to find work more in relation to like my degree, but then I was still doing a bit of makeup on the side, and then about three, four years ago I decided to come back into it like properly, and yes, that is me now. My corpse. My corpse. It's a massive thing, uh, everyone's a makeup artist. Everyone's a hairdresser. <laughs> True. Social media's given everyone everyone a job. Everyone's a hairdresser, everyone's a makeup artist, everyone's a personal trainer, everyone's oh, yeah. a stylist. And everyone is a musician. Yeah. So it's here true. we are. <laughs> we are indeed. So you only thread your brows? Do you wear? <laughs> Do you I haven't wear done my eyebrows since last year. Let's just call it 
Did were, were my eyebrows even done? For the wedding? No. No, they weren't. Because I remember it was like <laughs> Marie. <laughs> help me, help you. <laughs> like, I don't really like calming. <laughs> I don't think I've done my eyebrows in like a year. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so what I do is I just pencil my eyebrows and I pluck around that pencil. I'm like, pluck, pluck. Whatever random shape that isn't going in that pencil. The pencil's my I shape. Get you. And that's it, that's that's how I live now. Mm -hmm. Like a hobo. Just in. Yeah, no, it's fine, it works, it really works for me. <laughs> just doing it like that. It really works for me, but I need to get flow to just do my eyes because it's, it's actually rubbish and then I can actually look like this without without you know and it'll help too me. much is that too much product I don't normally like to put it on top but sometimes it does help with the shape especially when she hasn't done an eyebrows for a really long time and I don't want to say it it's okay, it could be all real here. Okay. It's looking dead. You can say it, girl. I've been playing games in my life. Thank God. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it for my birthday. Get gone. Be like, come on, girl. Lashes, tick. Eyebrows, tick. tick. Mate, just thread the whole face while you're at it. <sighs> just hairy. No, you're not. I feel like I am. Like the top lip area could do the Oh, world. that one's Fred. just always like I did mine for my holiday. And then when it when you first do it, you're always like, oh, yeah, actually. But when it's there, I don't really notice it. But when I've got makeup on, I do. Oh, it's quite simplistic, mm -hmm. if I'm honest. Once I've got my eyelashes, like when I have my eyelashes, mm -hmm. I think it makes me look like I'm more done up than I actually am. Mm. But my aim was always to have good skin, so I didn't need to put on foundation is, yeah. so I tend to just literally if I could not have dark circles under my eye mm -hmm. I think I would only use concealer like literally in the corners mm -hmm. and then put a light powder on top, but yeah. because I have such circles and like motherhood the lack of sleep and stuff I'm Ooh. getting puffy eyes and stuff so I wouldn't really feel like I needed to do that, I'll probably just put a powder on my face and really just mascara, bit of blush, bit mm. of highlighter. It's mm. because I like makeup, but I don't think I really necessarily need it, need especially it. when I'm working in the salon on a hot summer day. It's just, oh god, yeah. It just feels like too much. So a lot of the time, I'm working towards not needing makeup at all mm. and being comfortable without it, which I am. Well, I have been for the last year, so that's good, but. At the same time, you want to be able to look cute as well with with makeup on. So to me, I would say simplistic. I want to use time as an excuse for why I'm simplistic, but I can't be bothered. There's a lot. It's yeah. like a theme <laughs> in a lot of parts <laughs> of my life. Like I can't be asked. I can't. Want it natural. Like I want it. I literally sit here and I'll, I'll put up a tutorial and have to do a smoky eye. Mm -hmm. They'll do three steps, I'll do two, because I can't. <laughs> I just, I never really go through with it. So. Do you ever look and think, why does mine not look like theirs? Like, do you I know why it doesn't look like theirs, because I, I know I've missed a, a major step. Or sometimes as well, because they're makeup artists, they can fix a problem once it happens. Yeah. A lot of the time, if I'm doing my makeup, I've got 40 minutes. I don't have time to yeah. now fix a problem. So if the problem will be there, and I'll just stick an eyelash on and keep it moving. But now I'm thinking that I should just practice a little bit more. So I'm um, doing like basic looks, like even to go to work, I'll do like an eye mm -hmm. to go to work, even if it's simple and I'm not wearing lashes and stuff, just so I look a bit different. That's good. So that's basically what I'm doing now, but it's still quite simple because work is all black. Like I wear a lot of black to work. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying, you know, but. Sometimes you just want to live your life and be a be a, bit of a tramp. <laughs> what that? Uh, I want to be a bit of a tramp, but it just I don't like looking unclean or undone. 
think it's at giving. the same time. So it's effort. So. I'm a walking contradiction, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to. So I've just dusted on, after the primer, I put on like um, like a flesh tone colour, I like to call it, over your eyelid. Just like a natural enhancement of what your eyelid would look like, I guess, with a hint of a warmth of colour dusted over it. What are you watching these days? You always have good um, TV shows recommendations. This is us. Oh, yeah, you haven't watched... I watch that. I know, everyone's like, oh. Only because I feel like I have, I'm asking for shows and I already have like more than enough shows to watch. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she says, she you won't ask me, you know. Always ask. Wait, so what are you using? What are you watching? Um, What am I watching now? I don't want to tell you because it's a bit embarrassing. No, it's not embarrassing, it's good. You know Line of Duty? Have you ever watched that? Listen, let me, let's get embarrassment out of the way. I watch Hawaii Five-0. Yeah? Oh, wow. Okay. I watch Death in Paradise, which is Granny Central. Death in Paradise? That BBC, BBC one. What? I'm there. I watch MasterChef. Yeah? Yeah, but you like cooking, so I... I watch Death in Paradise, like, and Hawaii Five-0. The, the only thing that takes me away from being a grand is NCIS. That, that, that's uh, the only thing I don't watch. Okay. And if I watch that, I think I'll be solidified. Do you like Law and Order? Um, social media? I'm, I'm not. Mm, oh, I really, I think I've seen all of it now. Literally, um, I think we were watching it and then Terry was like, oh, there's one wicked episode of this Law and Order, Victims. Social Victims Unit. I was like, <laughs> listen, don't bring me into that, you know. Look down for me. The one with Ice Cube, yes, yeah, it's good, you know. Mm. Like, oh, and I also love Chicago. Um, PD. PD is fantastic. Okay. Well, yeah, this is Line of Juice. It's more like a British. And, yeah, no, I really like it, and I also really like The Bodyguard. When it. Mm. Do you know what I could do with just these dramas that last six Yo, episodes? See, we're really doing well this year. I was like, wow. Yeah, no, that was excellent. That was really good. But you need to watch Atypical. I think I saw Netflix. You. Did, you, did Listen, you put that on? That is hilarious. What is that one about? It's about, and um, I've got this thing about autistic people. Mm -hmm. Not for anything other, like it's not fun and games or anything, but I just, uh, they're just people that I'm, for some reason, to. I'm drawn to. And mm -hmm. I love watching shows about them. I will love watching documentaries, anything. And I think I, I worked Can with one when I was younger. Can you nice? Yeah. It's not stuck with us. I watched one when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was fantastic. What, your lashes? Yes. Not too tight, uncomfortable anywhere. I want to look like a gypsy, yo. <laughs> make me look, make me catfish myself. <laughs> Somebody texted you that right after I did your makeup the first time. I was like, time. what? <laughs> right, yeah. Let's just pop a hint of a liner on top. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah, atypical is what happens in that. I was just about this autistic um, boy and his family um, and just his take on life. It's actually just fantastic TV. And this is on what? Netflix? Mm hmm. I haven't yet watched um, Dirty John, but I will be watching oh, that today. Oh, that's what I started watching and I paused and went on to like um, my duty. You need to watch Fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh, the festival. Yeah. Yeah. That I was quite, that. that was a good little um okay, it was a good little thing to watch. There we go. Let's remove that little fire. Yeah. Isn't the guy in prison? I think he got sent down, eh? Yeah, he definitely needed to. I can't believe I actually watched MasterChef to the end. I was there watching it three times a week and I was like, what is wrong with me? But you like cooking though, isn't it? I do. But it's mostly because I just like to be like, 
and then you actually try it so i feel like that's it's not too bad yeah no i do but the thing that gives me the joke is when i try to <laughs> When I watch Hawaii Five, I make myself laugh. I'm like, wow. When I hear that music, da 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 da, da I'm like, wow. Ten seasons in, and I'm You're already on it. Wow, you really are. <laughs> I watch it hardcore. <laughs> Look up for it. It's my show. It's you. Yeah, that's to be honest, energy. it's actually it's like Grey's Anatomy. It's part of me. I need to just continue until. They that's so the true train. i think of grace i literally think of you because i remember i need to watch i just need so to watch it. it and this is us is now also part of that i oh i see like um criminal minds is finishing so when they said it was finishing a part of me wanted to be sad but i was like oh thank god <laughs> no more shows i have to keep on <laughs> i was like it's what? hard do you watch the good wife did I you watch when it was on? I did, but I couldn't get into it because I had no. like 10,000 okay, 10, well, yes, okay. other shows. But I can, but I will get into it because I know there's an end. Oh, yeah. You see these shows that don't have an end? Yeah, yeah. No. Like Grey's Anatomy. Grey's that's, Anatomy is not ending. That's Criminal why Minds I can't. Criminal Minds finishing. It's got the last 10 episodes. Mm. And you've got, um, what's the one that I watched? Yeah, Game I'm of Thrones is finishing. Mm -hmm. And um, Modern Family is finishing. Oh, I heard so that means that you have to find a replacement no i could just live my life <laughs> or that <laughs> i'm really good to watch netflix shows like i need to watch shorter shows like how to get with murder when will you finish do you yeah, know what i mean I, it comes to a point where i'm just like i'm watching this because i'm loyal to the show but well i could do with you being saying that it's over but they'll keep running <sighs> they're doing my head in because i can't stop Anyway, this is where we are. This is why I do Pl plenty show watch. This a little bit. The key is not to put too much orange because then you're working to cover more of the orange than actually what the whole purpose of it was up there. Oh, to correct. Yeah. Like, it's just meant to be a hint. When I see all these videos of people putting full on red lipstick in areas where they don't even have darkness, I'm like, okay. it's like a little gimmick thing then. Yeah, I think I put on quite a lot sometimes, and then I'm just like, uh, you don't. Now I need to fix this. Mm. Right, let's blend all here. I'm one of those people. <laughs> Oh, catfish coming through. <laughs> that concealer stage, isn't it? This is when the catfish really happens. The eyelashes, catfish part one. In there. So what do you prefer? Use the beauty blender under the eye or using the brush? I use a brush and then I'll set it on top of the beauty blender. But right. I'll like That's what I do. Because I feel like I get, I get a bit more control. Mm -hmm. But I also really so like the, the beauty blender. I just... Mm -hmm. Makes like especially the tiny one, it just gets into that area more nicely. You know, there we go, like a nice little pattern motion. Into the distance. I love getting my makeup done. You do, don't you? I think most people. It's quite relaxing. Yeah, when it's 45 to, to an hour, when it starts being two hours long, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's move. Now this is like, I feel like this is a stage where a lot of people can go a lot lighter, but let's keep it a little bit. Oh, I like this. Would you go a little bit lighter? No. 
you know. This is the girl that wears concealer as oh, makeup. <laughs> Not too much lighter. And then I'm also going to blend down your neck. Could you lift up for me? Your neck is like a different shade from the rest of your face. And it also enhances it more when she put that foundation on. She's going to blend it down a little bit. But don't, not too far down because then it looks you've got so much product down your neck and stuff looks good. Some clothing and stuff. Take the locked out shot there. So maybe turn your head to that one. Like that's it. Yes. We good babe. <laughs> I would have stayed there too. Yeah, the time. Yeah. Look. I'm just going to set under the eyes. I'm using NC46. Under your eyes in the center of your face. As a natural highlight. Again, you could go a couple of shades lighter, but you know it wants to look like yourself. And then I'm just literally patting it on. Keep looking up for me. So, I'm going to start by warming up the perimeter of your face. Or bronzing. Your cheekbones. Oh my god. Thanks, hun. That's all I've got, you know. Very natural, you know. Nice. Oh, just literally right, right in there, right in there, <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Smile for me. <laughs> You're like a little child about to receive a gold star or something. Like, mm. Mm. Smiley cheeks. I'm ready. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I feel like I've got the old grey stuck in my teeth. Oh, I was like, why was she chewing randomly now? <laughs> just twist this way for me. Oh! Oh! Sorry. Oh, I like! So like the, oh, the yeah. lip could be more nudie, but listen, you need to let it go. I'll oh, be adding and adding non-stop. Oh, I feel like it's my day again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like it. It's lovely. Like a nice natural polished look. Oh, if I could look like this every day for work. Listen, imagine. Imagine. Oh, it's lovely. So this is basically the look I got. I'm not going to show a picture of my. Should I put? I think I'm going to put a picture somewhere mm -hmm. of what I look like on the day. Mm -hmm. But it's slightly. It's a variation, I think. Yeah. But I really like it. The gold on your eyelid. This one's a little bit warmer. Okay. The one on your actual wedding day was a lot uh, icier, like an icy, like a champagne gold. Okay. Yeah, but it went with the dress. Yeah, because I was you're wearing, wearing the. I wore three different. Yeah. yeah. So this is the look guys, I'm trying to show you as much as possible. So this is this is basically a, what would you call it, a bridal? A bridal inspired, like, like a summer bridal look. Summer bridal look, so really I'll get closer so you can heaviness look at the eyes. Or anything. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for my look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will be doing another one. Um, with Claudia. Let me know if you like these sort of talk through videos where I talk about the makeup and how we achieve it and stuff like that and just having conversations in between. Um, I thought it might be something different to bring to my channel and yeah. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!